coming up on Third Lesson Sports. Yeah, weird. we couldn't really tell. So we'll so. have to look up rosters and yeah, and we'll start doing more and more on the XFL. We got a month to get ready, so yeah, I think we're gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. we're gonna hit that pretty hard once that gets going. Oh yeah, uh, we'll talk a little college football national championship game. Hey, you know what? What that national championship game's the same night you getting waxed. <laughs> getting waxed, huh? Woo! Gonna be a lot of that going on when it's getting waxed. I, I, Golly. You know, I, I was I was having a good night, Kenny. Yeah, you were. And I had to bring him back now. I was having, I was having a good night. Get waxed. I was having a good night, but no, you had to go and ruin it. He's going to have to watch the national championship like this. He ain't gonna be able to move his back. I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. He ain't in gonna be able face. to enjoy. It. This week's episode is brought to you by Miracle Salon and Spa, offering you all your salon care needs. Red Key Colorists are there to give you that new look you've been searching for, along with creative cuts. Chemical relaxers, fashion colors. We also offer manicures, pedicures, and acrylic nail services. Where are they located at, Kenny? 4498 Main Street, Shalote. Also can be reached at 910-754-9880. Welcome to Episode 8 of Thorn Lasses Sports. Sup, guys? So we're going to ease on to something a little, a little different. Uh, go ahead and get new. you started. Something new. Fresh. Well, it ain't fresh. It ain't new, but it's, 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 it's a, it's it's a brain re- back. It's refurbished. Yeah, refurbished. Retro. Throwback. 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 Been there, done that. Going to try it again. Yeah, hopefully. I think it's going to be more successful. And we're talking about the XFL. Mr. Vince Kennedy McMahon. So, XFL, XFL, football league will start on February the 8th. Um, so it's ten, a week after it's a ten, week? ten week season. No, no bye weeks, no nothing. It's ten weeks, and they're gonna go straight into it. And they're it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be fun. But today, uh, which is Tuesday, uh, January the seventh, seventh uh, a month away, but a month away, a month away from kickoff. They came out with the rules today, and it's kind of refreshing. Some of the rules that we've seen, it, it looks pretty cool. Um, you know they. It's it's going to be football, but honestly, truly, really, it's going to be more like backyard football. Yeah, you know, like you used to play when you was a kid, with your buddies and everything. You got five on five, so it's going to be sort of like that. You know, they're still going to take player safety into account, but for the most part, it's it's going to be. Gonna, it's going to. It's it's still you know standard eleven on eleven guys, but the way they play is going to be different. Yeah, like um, one of the key things starting the game, uh, the home team. Is automatically going to win the toss so they can defer or no, no, option no, kick. No, no coin toss. They're trying to make the game quicker. Yeah. All, I, they're going to have a running clock. So once the clock starts, it ain't going to stop. Um, the kickoffs. Uh, when you kick off, they're going to kick off on the 35. No, the 30. The 30. Okay. They're going to kick off on the 30. And, and the coverage and blocking team. They can't move no. until the ball either and hits the ground the or is caught. And 35 30 yard lines, respectively. Yeah. And they can't move. It says only the kicker and returner can move until the ball's caught. Caught or hits or the ground. three seconds after it hits the ground. That's right. And any touchback goes to the 35. And if you kick it out of bounds. It goes to the 45. The 45. So I think we're going to have a lot of excitement. A lot with Tyreek Hill, McKeever Holman. Uh, uh, they, uh, get, they get some fast guys. Because, whew, uh, son, get somebody hits. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, another thing, too, um, catches. You know, in the NFL, you got to have two feet down. In this league, in college. college, one foot. It says on punts, players can't leave the line of scrimmage on punts until after the kick. That's right. No, no, after it's caught. Oh, Not yeah, after the no. kick. It's after the ball is caught by the return team. Then they can take off. And all there. touchbacks are to the 35. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I and mean, then no extra points. No extra points. You got a, a you get one point for from doing a, uh, a, a one play. One play from the two-yard line. And you get a. Two, two point, point play, play from, from the, the three yard line, and then three I, point play from the, from the ten, ten yard from line. the ten. That's crazy. It's gonna be it's, so much it's fun. Gonna be, it's, I, don't, it's gonna, I hope there's fan duel for it. <laughs> yes, yes, love they, the fan duel. They might not have the fan duel for it since it started, but it, something's got to happen. I think I think they will. If and they then, got lines on the game, man, they they gonna have. The, the thing I'm really most excited about is uh, 
the with the the shootout style overtime. It's not there's there's gonna be no ties, no nothing. It says each team will get five single play possessions from the five yard line. Five plays. Each team goes from the five yard line. You get five plays to score. That's it. Hey, you try to score, they try to score. You try to score, they try to score. It says if the game is still tied after that, they will rotate positions and will continue until there's a winner. So you ain't got to worry about no ties. But I think with but all the rules. I rule, think with the way they're doing the, the one, two, two three-point points. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have many ties. I don't think you have any at all. I feel like a lot of people would do the one and two point. The three-point play, because you, you, you don't get one shot at it. Yeah. A three-point play from the 10-yard line. That's Hey, look at it this way. You score a touchdown. You're down nine. You're always in the game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're, you're always in the game unless you're down, you know, big, like 10, point, 10 or more Listen, points. I, I want to see somebody go for a three-point. From the you know they will. Line. You know you will because you know somebody's gonna be down by you eight or nine points. There's no way. Ain't no ain't nobody in the XFL got the cojones to run it from the ten yard line. They ain't gonna run it. No, they're gonna throw it. I'm just saying. But ain't nobody also, got it. There's also a cool, do it there's also a cool cool rule. They're allowing two forward passes. Oh yeah. And, oh, if you have to be behind the line of scrimmage. Right? Yeah, but two forward passes. Now the plays you see now with the uh, the wide receiver takes off in front of the quarterback, the quarterback pitches it in front of him. Now they can pitch in front of him. He can stop and throw a bomb because that is considered a forward pass in the NFL. So and they said there's going to be uh, nine officials on the field. Nine and one official's only pos- only I want only this job. Shot. I want this shot is to place is the to ball, put the ball, put the ball down. I can do that. I could do that. Sign me up, Vince. Hey, I'm there, Vince. Hey, I ain't asking for a theme song. Just nope. sign me up. I want I'll, I'll buy, I want to be the Undertaker when I come I, out and set the ball. I'll on buy the my own shirt. <laughs> I'll buy my own shirt. Please signs me up. I want Ric Flair's music. Woo! Styling and profiling. Uh, Ric Flair struck. Gotta, put the ball you gotta down. Move fast. You got you to have Ultimate Warriors music. You got it fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but no, that's something I'm excited for. You know? I am too. I, mean, I think if the first year is successful. They, they ain't got to really blow it out the park. Just no. Just, just have, make it through the season. Make it through the season and have have fans at the stadium, and they're and then get, have decent. Fox dec- picks them up, right? Fox and and ESPN. So That's they, better they, than the AF, AAF or whatever. It was. Yeah, because they didn't have no backing. AFL, AFL. See, they they've got backing. So, yeah. and they're not trying to they're not trying I to miss compete that, with nothing. Man. The Arizona Hot Shots, man, y'all let me down. <laughs> I was literally like ten minutes away from buying a jersey, and they shut the website down. Oh man, don't don't do it. Ain't you glad you didn't I, waste your money? I did pick my XFL team though. You did? Yep. Who you going with? Tampa Bay Vipers. The Vipers. Randy Orton. Baby. They got they got really bright green uniforms. I seen that. And I like. I hadn't picked the team yet. I'm being honest. I thought about you. the Seattle Dragons just because it sounds cool. Dragons. But you know, they they need to work on their logos because it looks like they took it from like 1998 mm-hmm. Windows clip art. Yeah, it's probably about true. They went something but, quick yeah, and easy. Yeah. But so, they'll, they'll get better. Yep. Next thing we're gonna talk about, you know, that's that's all the way. And we'll we'll add more to it, more content to it as more content comes yeah, out. Yeah, because we really don't know who's playing. Yeah. So we're gonna what we're gonna try to do. Hopefully, we get some on information it. on who's on whose I know, teams. I know they've done like some little mock draft or draft type thing. They had the draft. But they didn't do like a. a it was it a wasn't weird. televised. It was yeah, weird. we couldn't really tell. So so. We'll have to look up rosters and. Yeah, and we'll. Start doing more and more on the XFL. We got a month to get ready, so yeah, I think we're gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. we're gonna hit that pretty hard once that gets going. Oh yeah, uh, we'll talk a little college football national championship game. Hey, you know what? What? That national championship game's the same night you getting waxed. <laughs> getting waxed, huh? Woo! Gonna be a lot of that going on when it's getting waxed. I, I, Golly. You know, I, I was I was having a good night, Kenny. Yeah, you were. Now to bring them back now. I was, having, I was having a good night. Get I was having a good night. But no, you had to go and ruin it. He's going to have to watch the National Championship like this. He's going to be able to move his back. I swear to God, I'm going to slap him. He ain't going to be face. able to enjoy it. Shut your mouth. I hope there's a. We're we going to watch the first half together. We're going to watch the first half together. I hope there's yeah. a big old plan. Like, BJ, did you see that? Uh, <laughs> it's going to be good. And just to let y'all know, we're going to watch the first half of the game. And uh, at halftime, we'll give us an analysis. And then we'll. Uh, We'll give you the second half and the end of the game and what we think of the whole game together in our next podcast, which will be the following night on uh, January the 14th. So, there's that. The next championship. Hmm. That's the, I'm going to tell you right now, Clemson hmm. better bring their A game, son. I'm telling you that right now. They better. You know what they need they, to do? They need to get them I'll defensive you, players you know, that went to pro last year and, and bring them back. They need to call – they need to have Dabo needs to call Bill Belichick 
Find out how to get somebody to record tape. <laughs> <laughs> and just record all the tape he can on LSU. Man, I'm t- man, Joe Burrow. Whew. Man. Then receivers, then running back. Man, that running back. And one thing I say about Clemson, Clemson does have some horses that can run with them. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're a lot but better offensively they, than they better They better not wait till the second half to show up like they no. did against Ohio State. No. They they better not need a late hit on uh, Trevor Lawrence to wake up because if they do, it'll be down 40 to nothing. Man, J- Joe Burrow, kid, man. Number one pick. He's going to the Cincinnati Bengals. Go ahead and mark man. it down. Chick, chink. He's legit, man. That he's kid. good. He's good. And, and he, he's a good kid because somebody you want to pull for. Yeah. You know, because you see him at the Heisman Trophy. You know, most of these guys that go up there, they got this prepared speech. You know, they go right down mama. Thinking, God, mama, you know, the whole nine yards, their high school coach, their best friends, mamas, daddies, and stuff like that. This dude went out there. He spoke from the heart, cause yeah. he he spoke from there. Yeah, and that gives me respect for some. You know, you yeah. don't need a paper. He spoke from there, mm-hmm. and what he said about his coach, uh, Orgeron. Yeah, dude, that that dude, it, it made me tear up. I was like, dang. I like old Ed. Yeah, we gonna run football here. Like I'm all boom higher. Boy, yeah, boy, I'm high. We all gonna eat some. Go some, Tigers. Some Creo. <laughs> Yeah. Go Tigers. Go, Joe go, go. Burrow was a great quarterback. <laughs> he he going to lead the LSU Tigers to the national championship. It's not like old Troy from, from, from uh, Alligator. Yeah. They're probably cousins or something. They, they probably they are. They resemble each other. A they bit. do. The way they talk. Shoot them. Shoot, shoot them a little bit. We'll shoot them to the Tigers. But ain't it cool, though? You got tiger, tiger versus Tiger. tiger. Death Valley versus Death you got Valley. The, the orange and purple Tiger versus the purple and yellow Tiger. Whoo. That's going to I hope. I just hope Clemson shows up. Sunshine and the boys, Edmund, back running the football. Man, it's it's going to be fun. But I, like I said, I think it's going to be – the winner of this game is going to be Clemson's offense versus LSU's defense. Because I think LSU's going to score. It's oh, just, yeah. If Clemson can keep up with it. And if they can, we'll be mm. in for a great national championship game. But if not <gasps> – No. Huh. We'll be, at halftime, it's, we'll be saying, we cutting this off and we're going to click it over to Raw yeah. and watch – Rest of the world. It'd be like last year's national championship where Clemson just blew the doors off <laughs> Bama. Yeah, but I still watch it though because you know second half, oh, Bama yeah. be pulling yeah. something back. Yeah. You know, be like, ooh, you know, like I don't did. know, man. Like, LSU, it's hard. It's hard to bet against LSU in this game. I know there's more Clemson Tiger fans that watch. Oh, this, there is a ton of them. Than LSU fans. Yeah, and y'all can jump on me if you want, but I you can jump, rip it, rip it, uh, baby. LSU's legit. Joe Burrow. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. If Sunshine and Clemson win this game, Dabo has cemented himself. Oh yeah, as a legit oh, yeah. top oh, he, two or three coach. He, I, <laughs> if if he if they can win this game, hmm. he's ahead of Nick Saban right now. Not all time. Not all time. I'm talking about his coaches that are coaching right now. I agree. I agree with that. Not all time. No, no, no. no. I, I agree. I'm not that. going that far. <laughs> I agree with that, but. But honestly and truly, it's, it's going to be a great game. I, I I foresee that. There's going to be a lot of people there. I know a couple people that's going to the game. So, y'all have fun. Isn't it in New Orleans? Yes, sir. Bourbon oh, Street. Son. <laughs> son. Hey, they, they got gonna, enough alcohol. Hey, they already <laughs> drunk because they mad that the Saints lost. Cause, you tell what I found out? They said that Ole Miss sold uh, alcohol for the first time ever at their college stadium. LSU fans come there. And by halftime, it was all gone. They drunk them out. They had no more alcohol left in the whole stadium. Drunk the whole stadium out Man, of alcohol. If LSU can win the national championship in Louisiana, who batting the roof? They gonna blow. Street. They gonna blow the roof off Superdome. Bourbon Street gonna be hopping. Huh. Uh, you think? You think? Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Black Tuesday, whatever it is, Black Friday. What it, yeah, whatever. That, that crazy Tuesday they do down there and the throwing the beads and stuff. Shoot, you ain't got to yeah. throwing up beads. You're going to see all you want to see down there. Yeah, that, it's fun, oh, man. <laughs> next Monday night, you want to see something? You head down to Louisiana. You run that Superdome. Yeah, them Tigers win, man. They're going to party for a year. How many babies you reckon going to be named? Uh, all of them. Or Burrow? All of them. <laughs> you know what I'm all saying? All of them. How many? How many? They all going to come talk about this right now. <laughs> Edward, I like Edward. I like Edward. Yeah, but uh, that's, that's gonna be whew. that's that's gonna be great. I'm hoping it's a really good game. I, mean, I really am. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like LSU is just gonna blow the doors off Clemson. I, I, I hope not. <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise. Like I said, it was one of them. Get, like, Here we go. No, 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 no. no. Fence, I don't think Kenny. no Clemson ain't gonna win. I, LSU's winning no matter what. But it could be a close game. 
ride that fence. Can you just keep you you cover your CYA, buddy? CYA, you ride that fence rail. Soon. Hey, you know when we ride that fence rail soon? <laughs> I'm gonna ride that fence rail and not get my back waxed. <laughs> God, I hate you. At least when you shower, the water will just bleed off your back. You know, worry about the hair stopping it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shirts are going on easier too. I'm about about <laughs> sick and tired of you right now. <laughs> like we're gonna get off of this and we'll give you a little update on little Carolina basketball. Hmm. They play Georgia Tech. There's no update Sunday. needed. And, they suck, man. Look, I'm gonna tell you like it is. Look, they suck. I, it is he, bad. He's, he's, I got a little loud there. I'm sorry. Right. But they, there's the recap is they're horrible. They, they're they, atrocious. <clears throat> what, I got Roy, exact, what did I, Roy say? Exact Roy Williams quote: "This is the most disappointing I've ever been in my coaching career. Mm. It's not even close." Mm. That man's been coaching for a while. He told me. I, he didn't tell me, but he he said it at the game. He said this is the least talented team he's ever had at North Carolina. And when you don't bring your A game every night, when you're not talented, you're going to get beat and embarrassed mm-hmm. like what happened Saturday. At one point, it was like 19-2. to two Yeah, 19-2. Against two. Georgia Tech. Yeah. That team is terrible. I'm going to tell you right now, when we play Duke, we might score 20 points. I'm going to put it to you this way. We play Duke. It's going to be bad. I'm As much crap as I talked last year when we beat them, I mean, I talked some crap. Yeah, we I both, talked. We I, both. We both. No, yeah. I love you, Kenny. You talked a whole lot more. Than I talked. I, I looked. I some Facebook lied like twice. Billy I, about got in a fight with somebody on Twitter. No, I did. If he'd been in my face, we'd. Yeah. I'd have been locked up. We'd have hooked up big time. But no, I know. I I know what I'm gonna be getting that February game, mm. and I'm. I know what I'm getting. But the only the only solace we got. Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony. He's week three of his knee surgery. Everything's going great. Everything's looking up. I'm talking about January 18th, him coming back. Can't get Please. here soon enough. Please. Because if you come back, we get you back. We got my boy Francis. He, he can run the point. You run off the two. And b Rob and Leaky. y'all just play defense. Just use your long arms. Just play defense. But you put your head down. Don't even look for the ball. Just no. Watch your feet and see which way they're going. Exactly. You just play defense. Garrison Brook and I'm on Mr. Bandicoot, you are a physical freak. But, son, you're not playing high school no more. Mm-mm. There are people who are seven foot tall mm-hmm. and grown men in college. Mm-hmm. You can't do what you did in high school in college. And, and you're finding you that out to now. Adapt. You got to learn. Coach Williams is telling you the facts. He tells you you need to work. You need to work, son. You know, the one thing, the one solace I get out of this, here's, here's, here's one thing I'm looking forward to this. We're playing so bad, nobody should be going pro. The only one that might will be Anthony. Call because, Anthony will probably go. But what we got coming in, you have Garrison Brooks as a senior. You know, you have Francis there. Then you got them studs coming in next year. Mm. Okay. Should be. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying. This class we knew was gonna be weak. With Pierce and Keeling. We didn't think it was be this bad though. No, I didn't either. I mean it's I was praying. Everybody talked, man, we can we got the team to make it to the sweet sixteen. Well, no. We ain't got a team to make it to the tournament. No. No. I don't think none of them boys could drive a bus to get to the tournament. No, it's in Greensboro. They might get to Greensboro. They, they probably can't figure it out. I know they can't shoot their way to Greensboro. Now, there's a basketball court where they 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 ain't gonna make it. I ain't, I ain't lying. I think we take BCC Dolphins and have to give them a run. Might be able to. I ain't lying. But fans, this this has been a uh, a somber podcast for me. And uh, next week, I'll probably be sitting up here a little. He'll tender. be refreshed. I'll be a little tender next week after a nice waxing. Yeah. So, at Miracle Salon and Spa in Shalot, North Carolina. We're gonna be live. Look, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. We're gonna be live. I don't know who's going to record it because I'm going to be laughing so hard. The camera's going to be all over. But we're going to have to do something. But I'm telling you. I, That's a live you're going to have to I'm going to be in tears the whole time laughing because it's not me. It's the whole back. It's not just like one little streak. No. Not just not just to – let's see what this. See if this hurts. No. No. It's the whole it's all of it. back. 
every bit of it. You know, we're not, you know, when we go, we go legit. Yes. And when you lose a bet, you pay up. It don't matter what it is, what it does. I mean, if you shake a man's hand, you look him in the eye, say, I bet you, you pay up. And I tell you one thing. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. I, I pay my bets. I pay my dues. No, he's going to pay it next Monday. I can tell you that. That's all right. I feel a nice <laughs> ice cold bucket coming soon. Hey, look, I'm telling you, bring the bucket on, son. <laughs> bring it on. Get that water cold. I'm going to be standing right there. That's fine. You'll be standing. I'm going to make sure to get some rock salt up in there, boy. Put about. Hey, I'm, trying, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get some that that you know. That I ain't trying to get ice hypothermia. Out. Lose a limb. Okay, yes, sir, sir. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get like that little teeny tiny ice ice. Everybody like to eat it from the from the Smithfield, you know. Oh yeah. Make it good and cold. Put some salt in there and shake it up. You just drop a beer in there. So ice cream's like. You remember what happened last time you got overconfident? Reality came back to slap you in the face. Let's to recap who we have here as far as teams still left. Me. I have the Ravens, the number one seed, the 49ers, the number one seed, the Packers, the number two team in this NFC, and the Titans, who just destroyed the Patriots. Kenny has the Chiefs, which is pretty good. The Vikings, who are going to get smoked by the 49ers. No. The Seahawks, who are gonna get smoked by the Packers. And the Texans, who are playing his Chiefs. Somebody's got to win. <laughs> So, I ain't trying to say I'm going to win. Well, I feel pretty confident that I ain't going to be getting. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it right. If we sit here. I'm going slow. If we sit in here the week before the Super Bowl, I hope the Super Bowl is the Chiefs and the Vikings. And I'm just going to be smiling. <laughs> and I'm going to be crying. But I don't think it's going to be oh, that I even. I'm getting, a, oh, I'm getting an ice bath. You know, and I'm going to do it slow. You know, you know, most people, they dump it fast. I'm going to do it a little slow Let trickle. it trickle. Let it trickle. Just you hit the back and it's like, roll down easy. And then but, he hits that butt crack. You go, Ooh, and then touch your, touch your balls. You, like, you don't want to say it. And then this goosh. You go, <gasps> take your breath away. I can't wait. You know what I'm going to start doing? What? I'm going to start taking cold showers to get used to it. No, you ain't. I'm going to start doing it. Start no, tonight. Cold showers until I get the ice bath. I'm saying he's telling y'all a lie. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all have a great week. We look forward to seeing you on our live Monday night uh, for the waxing and then halftime of the uh, national championship game. And then podcast next week. So for Kenny, I'm BJ. Don't last the sports. We out.